Hello, and welcome to Investments, FIN 539. This is Professor Nugent, and this is a quick video just to give you an idea of how week one will work for our online class. So the first thing you should do when you come to our, our online class is look over the announcements. And right now I have posted two important announcements. The first announcement is just a quick review of what to do in week one. So week one is sort of a slow week because the class is just starting. So what you should do in week one is find the syllabus under course documents, or simply in this class it's called documents. So you want to read over the syllabus. Then you want to subscribe to the Yahoo playlist or channel. So I have the channel here and I have the video. Our chapter one video is listed separately here. And before you watch the chapter one video, I suggest you read chapter one in your textbook, and then you can watch the chapter one video. After you've read chapter one and you've read and watched chapter one video, you can start to work on this week's big assignment, which is discussion board. So I want you to answer this week's discussion board question. Now there won't be a question every week, but there will be something to work on in the discussion board every week. So this week, the discussion board question is uh, a two week endeavor. So the first week from August 24th, you're going to post your original response. And then the second week, you're going to reply to at least three other students. So this assignment, I ask you to please make one original post and three replies <clears throat> to the discussion. So the first week, make your original post. And the second week, by the end of the second week, you should do three replies to three other students' posts. Your original post should be 200 to 300 words, and your replies can be 50 to 200 words. Okay, now clicking here will get us into the discussion board. And once we're in the discussion board, you can see that we have four threads that have already been created by four students in the class who have answered my question. So you should read their response, and I've already read this one, it's an excellent response. And in the response, basically they're saying that they'd like to use Excel. And I have good news for you, Andrew, we are using Excel. Most of the homework problems will have Excel in it, and we have a big project that includes it creating an Excel database for analyzing stock. So I'm going to rate this five stars, and you should rate all the posts you read. Please rate to give students feedback on whether or not their, po their original posts are good. Now I will also use this rating to, for me to get an idea of how you're doing in your original posts. Okay. Um, also, you will notice that there is a, a OK button down here. This is where I can go back. This is where you reply. So if you want to make some comments to Andrew's post, you can click on reply. This is me replying to Andrew. So I would say, hi, Andrew. Don't worry. We will be Excel. So I don't have to, I'm not limited to the 50 to 200 word limit. So I'm just going to give them a quick response and click submit. So now I've, I've read the original post and I've responded. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Now for you to create your new, your original post, you want to click on create thread and then you want to title it and you can give it, I guess, really any title because your name is going to be associated with your post. So you give it a title, a subject, and then you, you put in, you answer the questions, and once you're done, click Submit. <clears throat> now you see that this new thread is opened up. So that's how we're, each question you create your own original thread, and then you're going to go into read, hopefully read all the students' responses, but reply to at least three other students' responses with something uh, beneficial and substantial to their original post. And that's, you know, as simple as that as far as we're when we're talking discussion board. Okay. Now there's also a second constant discussion board called class questions. So if you have a question about the class, you can create a thread here and I will answer the question or perhaps another student will answer the question if it's something that they understand very well. Okay, so back to announcements. Okay, so also under announcements is getting started video. I have created a video for, uh, I recorded a couple weeks ago that talks about this class and getting started in the class and the textbook. So you may want to, hopefully you have the textbook already. If you don't have a textbook, you can buy it online and get an ebook edition for a reduced cost as well. So take a look into that. It's also detailed in the syllabus. Also in documents, 
we have the PowerPoints that go along with the lectures that I give and examples of stock papers that other students have done, which is important because when we bounce over here to assignments, the first assignment is due on September 13th. This assignment is for chapters one and two because I may have some students dropping or adding the class late. I wanted to give some extra time for this first assignment, and then they're going to be a, a homework assignment due pretty much every week after that. How to complete the assignment? Well, the, um, I list the page number and the exercise problems I want you to work on, and these are spreadsheet exercises. Remember, the book will break the problems out between questions, problems, and spreadsheet exercises. So that's why I put the page number to help you locate the problems I want you to work on. Uh, in future assignments, you may have questions, problems, and computational problems, as well as spreadsheet problems. So there's, make sure you get that straight before you start the assignment. Now, when I would like everything to be done in Excel, so when you're doing Excel, I would like you to hand in or submit one Excel file to me. And you may not realize this, but Excel has the ability to have what they call multiple sheets. So sheet one, you can, uh, you know, this could be... Um, your problem one, and you can put something in here, and then sheet two could be problem two, you know, or you know, you should probably label it, and sheet three can be like you know, exercise 1.1, whatever you're working on. And I'm just gonna put a different color in here. So this way you can <clears throat> submit multiple uh, questions, problems on multiple spreadsheet on multiple tabs and Clicking this button will create a new tab. So you can have as many of these as possible. So while you're working in Excel, try to fit all of your homework into these different tabs. Questions, problems, computation problems, and spreadsheet problems, all within the, these tabs. And then you would save it. And then when you're ready, you click on this link here. And it will say Browse Computer. You click on this, and you can attach your link. And that's all you need to do. And then the homework is submitted. Now. After the first four chapters of homework, we're going to start working on the class project. And the first thing to do in the class project is pick an industry and 10 stocks within the industry. For example, if you picked the, um, and one way you can easily do that, you can go to, um, go into Yahoo and go to Yahoo Finance. This is one of the many ways, um, let's see here. And today is not the greatest day in the stock market. It was down almost... It was down over a thousand points at one point earlier today. But down here, if you click on market data, down here they have something called stock screener. And then you could pick a category. So let's say you wanted to do your industry, maybe you wanted to do uh, beverages. And you could just click find stocks. And I can find, you know, here are 74 stocks in the beverage industry. So this is just one way of, and you know, let's see, let's look for something else. Maybe with biotechnology, healthcare, find stocks, and here I have 200, 600, any of the stocks within this industry. So you don't have to use Yahoo Finance, but I do want you to think about an industry that you want to work on as far as stock analysis and pick 10 companies within an industry. And all you have to do simply here is uh, attach your file, uh, Word document or Excel with your 10 companies and your 10 stock symbols in it, and it's a simple assignment. Uh, then later on in the course, so this this happens on October first. Then by the end of October, we're going you're going to be submitting an stock Excel database, and I'll create a separate video to explain what this is and what you need to do here. And then by November twentieth, it's gonna be the first draft of your stock analysis paper, and then by December fourth, your final draft. And I've listed um, if you look under the stock analysis report, you will find examples of spreadsheet of uh, a stock analysis template, year-over-year -year spreadsheet ideas, um, and you can also find these under course documents, examples of the stock paper, if you want to get an idea of what I'm looking for. But again, there's going to be a separate video to explain how to do this project and what you need to do, so you don't need to worry about it today. Today, you just really need to worry about reading the syllabus, getting the textbook, answering the discussion board question, and start working on the homework. Okay, so that's my quick 10-minute video of how to get started with this course, and I think that's enough. Uh, to get you started. Now I'm not going to record, a, you know, a welcome for each week. I just wanted for the first week give you a welcome and give you an idea of what you should be doing for this class. And I try to make the class very logical, I, um, very or organized, and easy to follow, and easy for you to get your work done and contribute to the course. Okay. Thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you soon.